What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to continue on with the 8th episode of the series where we're going to set up the global search in Filament PHP. In huge admin panels, a global search is a must have feature because it allows users to quickly and easily find specific information across multiple pages or sections of the application. This can greatly improve efficiency and productivity by reducing the time and effort required to locate the desired information. Now most admin panels have two types of searches. The first one is the global search, which allows users to search for information across the entire application. And the second type is a resource search, which allows users to search for information within a specific resource or section of the application. Now we have already covered the resource search right here. Since inside any resource, we said that certain columns should be searchable. Now this works fine, but a global search would be nice too, which allows you to search through all available models in your application. So let's move on with our global search. Now whenever you want to enable global search on your model, you need to set a title attribute for the resource that you want to make globally searchable. So let's close off our category resource and let's do that inside our product resource first. So right below our navigation sort, we're going to define a protected static string for the record title attribute. And the value right here needs to be a name of the column on your model that can be used to identify it from others. So in our case, uh, let's set it equal to the name column. Now by setting this property, Filament PHP will know which columns to use when searching for records across the entire application. So if we navigate back to Google Chrome, click on brands, and in the top right corner, you will see that an input field has been added, which will now represent the global search. So right here, uh, let's search for VPS, and in the dropdown, you will see that it is showing our products of VPS hosting which is awesome, but uh, let's click on VPS hosting in our products tab, change the description to let's say test, scroll to the bottom, save the changes. All right, now let's click on the products tab again, click on our global search, write down test, and right here, you will see that it has prompted us with a message saying that no result has been found. And this is correct, because we simply set inside our, let's scroll up, product resource, that it should search specifically on the name column in our products table. And as you can see, the value of our records title attribute can only be a string. So we can simply replace it with an array, pass in the name, and pass in, let's say, the description. Now to do so, we simply need to override a method that Filament PHP has to offer. So let's define a new public static function and let's name it get globally searchable attributes. We need to type in it to a array. All right. Then inside of it, we simply need to return an array. You guessed it with the column names. So let's say that the name, the slug and the description needs to be searchable. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, search for test, and right inside of the dropdown, you will see that it has added a product because it has found the search phrase in the description table. Now, quick note, you can even add relationships right here. In most cases, I don't recommend doing this because it will kind of mess up the search, but you can simply define the relationship in the same way as we have done before when defining select fields through the dot notation. So let's say brand dot name. Now let's remove it for now and let's continue on. By default, the global search will output the value that you will have to find inside your record title attribute. But once again, the return value will be a string so you can't display more information. But filament PHP allows you to overwrite another method. So let's go right below our get globally searchable attributes. And let's overwrite the public static function named get global search result details. Now let's type in it to an array. So we could simply return an empty array right here. And we need to add a parameter, which needs to be an instance of the model that is being searched, which will be model, let's pull in, records. 
Now this will be an instance of the model that is being searched. This method allows you to overwrite the default behavior of the global search results and display additional information about the record in the search results. So let's say that we're going to return a key value pair and we want to add the brand to the search as well, which will be the record, the brand relationship of, in our case, the product's model, and we're going to output the name. If we navigate to the browser and refresh it, and let's search for, let's say, VPS again, you will see that we have added the VPS hosting title, but we have also added a subheader of brand colon hostinger. You could even add multiple rows where we simply need to add another key value pair of, let's say, description, which will be record. So once again, our product model description. Let's test it out. Let's navigate back, refresh it, and let's search for VPS again, where you will see that we have added the brand and the description. Now, I'm personally not a huge fan of it, so let's navigate back and let's remove the description and let's continue on. Now, one thing I wasn't aware of and I learned through Filament PHP as documentation is that the relationship that we have defined right here will be lazy loaded. Lazy loading is a technique in programming where data is loaded only when it is actually needed. In our current example, Filament PHP as global search will be loaded only when they are needed, which can lead to poorer performance. Now it is recommended to use eager loading right here and it even allows you to do so. With eager loading, data is simply loaded upfront before it is actually needed. In our current example, it is recommended to use eager loading instead of lazy loading to optimize performance. This means the relationship between models should be loaded upfront where the search query is executed instead of waiting until they are actually needed. So let's go right below our get global search results detail. Let's define the public static function named get global search eloquent query, which is used to modify the query used to search for records across the entire application. We're going to type in it to the builder. All right. Then inside our get global search eloquent query, we're going to return the parent colon colon get global search eloquent query where we're going to chain the width method to it where we're going to pass in one or multiple relationships so let's pass in an array of the brand now you won't see any differences in the browser so let's search for vps again where you will see that the output is pretty much the same imagine an application where you have let's say 100 hosting services Realistically, you don't want to load all 100 rows to the user, right? You basically want to add a limit to prevent a huge amount of queries. And it's actually quite simple to do that, because we simply need to overwrite a property that Filament PHP has defined for us. By default, the global search will show 50 results per resource, which I actually find quite a lot. Let's say that we want to limit it to 20. What we need to do is basically defining a new property so let's say protected static int which has a name of global search resource limit where we're going to set the value equal to 20. now we can't test it out inside the browser because we only have a total of one product but this is good to be aware of the final configuration i would like to show you is adding search key bindings which i actually find a pretty awesome feature Search key bindings are keyboard shortcuts or combinations of keys that trigger specific search related actions. Honestly, they are useful because they allow users to quickly and easily perform common search tasks without having to navigate through menus or use the mouse to click on buttons. Now let's say that whenever a user hits the command K or control K on a keyboard, the focus of the app will go towards the global search and a user can directly start the search. Now this needs to be configured inside Filament its service provider. So let's open the providers directory, the Filament directory and the admin panel provider, where right under the color, we're gonna chain the global search key bindings method. Right here, we need to pass in an array with our search key bindings. So let's say that the first one is command plus K while the second one is for Windows and Linux users, which will be CTRL for control, 
plus K. Once we navigate to the browser, refresh it. And since I'm on a Mac, I need to hit the command K buttons. And you will see that we can directly start typing in our global search. For now, I want to wrap up this video where we have talked about the global search and we have covered the most important configurations. This was it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content and you want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.